Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk about holsters, and specifically I want to talk about Raven concealment systems. Now I'm holding one of Raven's holsters here in my hand, and this is the Phantom, and it's made for the Glock 19 pistol. This holster is made of Kydex, and while Kydex is nothing new to the marketplace, Raven does things that are a little bit unique that make this stand out from competing pro products that are on the market. They not only make holsters for handguns, they make magazine pouches, which I have here that goes with the Glock 19, and they also make holsters for less than lethal tools. Anyway, let's get started and take a closer look at the Raven Concealment Systems Phantom Holster. Now the Phantom Holster is modular. Actually, all the Raven System holsters are modular. They're made of Kydex, and they have these grommet holes around the edge of the holster. You can see them here. Those grommet holes allow the attachment of different mounting options. This is how the holster comes from the factory. This has two belt loops, and these can be taken off. They just have two Phillips head screws that you can see here. You just remove those. The belt loops come off. And you can put on something like these soft loops. Now, these soft loops convert this outside the waistband carry holster. You put them here. It converts this holster into an inside the waistband holster. And we'll show you how that looks here in a few minutes. Now, you have a number of different mounting options that are available, and you can see what all those mounting options are on the website. Another mounting option that I have with me here is the pancake um, attachments. And these pancake attachments replace the belt loops once again, and they hold the holster slightly closer to the body. Now, another unique feature of the Raven Concealment System holster is the fact that it's formed so that it follows the contour of the body. You can see how it has a nice C-shape to it here. This works both well on the outside the waistband carry, and it also works quite well on the inside the waistband carry. Now I'm going to show you what this holster looks like in a few minutes here when it's actually being worn, and you can see how when the holster is mounted to your side that the clothing flows nicely and evenly around the outside of the holster, which makes for a nice concealment. Another feature of the holster is the fact that it grabs the pistol very tightly. Listen to it click into the holster. Now you can't get the handgun to fall out. I'm not holding the handgun whatsoever. It's not coming out of that holster. It pops out. Now it grabs the pistol tightly as you can see. It's molded very tightly to the handgun. It follows the contours of this Glock 19 very well. And it almost acts like a retention holster. Now, this is not a retention holster. There's nothing to release it other than just pulling, right? So it's not truly a retention holster, but it makes it very difficult to get the handgun out of the holster if you don't pull straight up. Also, it's nice because you can be very active with this holster on, and you don't have to worry about the gun falling out. Now, some competing products that are Kydex have tensioners and it's a screw that you put inside that's inside the holster that pinches you can adjust the tension and it pinches the handgun making it either a little tighter or a little looser raven has done away with that and simply made it grip the pistol very snugly you'll also notice that the pistol sets at a slight 10 degree cant forward so there are right hand and left hand models anyway Let's do a little bit of shooting with the holster. I'm going to put the holster on and show you guys what it looks like in both the outside the waistband carry and inside the waistband carry and give you some impressions of this holster. Okay guys, I have the Phantom holster on. Now I'm wearing a fairly tight fitting shirt, but you can see how it conceals underneath this polo. Now there's the holster and you can see how it forms around the body contour. I also have the spare magazine pouch on over here. The holster carries the pistol very nicely. I've been carrying the holster and this particular Glock 19 for about a month now, and I've come to really like the holster. I'm kind of a, a leather holster type of person. I've never been a real big fan of Kydex, but this holster has become very popular with me, and I actually plan on carrying it pretty much all the time. Now, the holster carries the weight of the Glock 19, pretty nicely. I haven't really noticed that it interferes with my range of motion. It doesn't make any strange noises when you're carrying it. It doesn't stick to your body. Now I am wearing an undergarment. I actually have a Glock 19 that has the RTF2 finish and if you don't have a shirt on underneath your shirt protecting you from the pistol grip of that Glock 19 RTF2, 
it'll act like sandpaper on your side. So I've become accustomed when I carry concealed to wear an undergarment like I'm wearing now. But anyway, you can see exactly how that, that holster carries. And like I said, it's very comfortable and the presentation from concealment is smooth and easy. And I really like how the, the pistol locks into the holster. Now, I was talking earlier about retention screws that pinch the handgun in the holster. I prefer Raven's approach because in my experience, those tension screws back out, become loose. Then you wind up doing something like putting you know, a little drop of uh, blue Loctite on there, something like that, which then defeats the purpose of having an adjustable tensioner. The tension is just right on these holsters, and all the holsters are form-fitted the same way, and the tension is pretty much the same across the spectrum of the, the holsters that they offer for all the different handguns. So anyway, let's do a little bit of shooting and see how the pistol presents from concealment and how well the system works together with reloads and all that good stuff. Okay guys, I have three magazines on me and each of those magazines I have two rounds. I'm going to present from concealment and do a couple of magazine changes. I'll show you how the system works. The holster works very smoothly. I like how it presents from concealment. I like how the magazines come out of the holster very quickly and easily. They pinch just like the holster on the handgun does. So they retain, retain those, hold, those magazines, but they don't hold them so tightly that you can't quickly get them out. I like the setup. So let's take a look at how you swap out the mounting hardware and just how simple it is. Now you have these two Phillips head screws that you just remove them with a Phillips head screwdriver. And on the back side you have an O-ring and then another little screw that goes on the back. And you remove them both. Now I want to put on the soft strap to convert this outside the waistband carry holster to an inside the waistband carry holster. Now you'll notice that you have several different options. You can adjust this for the size of your belt loop, and you can also choose between any one of these grommet mounting points to adjust how high the holster rides inside your pants. I'm just going to pick the top loop here, the top hole, and screw this together here. So now you have a snap that you can run your belt loop through. I'll put the other one on and we'll stick this in my uh, pants here and show you how this thing carries. Okay guys, so now I have the holster configured as inside the waistband carry, and I have it on now. You can see how it conceals. Now another thing that's nice about Kydex when you're using it inside the, inside the pant carry, and also outside the pant carry, is the fact that Kydex maintains its shape. It's easy to draw the weapon and then reholster it without fumbling around trying to find the mouth of your holster, opening up with your fingers and inserting the pistol in if you were carrying it in a leather holster. Now some other holsters do have reinforcements around the mouth of the holster, but the Kydex is very slick on the inside, it's easy to find, it maintains its shape completely, even with reinforced leather holsters they'll collapse just ever so slightly. It maintains its shape completely and the holster goes in just as easily inside the waistband as it does on outside the waistband. Now let's do a little bit of shooting and show you how it presents from concealment. and right back into the holster. I really like the setup. It's very comfortable. It doesn't mess with my range of motion. I can move comfortably in any direction. And you kind of 
forget that it's even there. It carries very nicely. And again, I accomplished that just by changing out the mounting hardware. Very simple and easy to do. And the attachments aren't very expensive. Okay guys, some final thoughts on the Phantom Holster by Raven Concealment Systems. You know we have a lot of options when we're looking for holsters in the marketplace today. Historically speaking, I've been a fan of leather. Now, I've changed my mind over the last few years and have really given Kydex a second look and this Raven Holster, in my opinion, is one of the best Kydex holsters on the market. I'm really impressed with it. I've been carrying it for the last month and I plan on carrying it going forward, especially with my Glock 19, which is one of my handguns I really like to carry. This holster is well made, it fits perfectly to the handgun, it converts easily from outside the waistband carry to inside the waistband carry. I like having that option. It only takes a couple of minutes to accomplish the conversion. And for $75, which might seem a little bit salty to some of you guys, I really think it's a good value. This is a holster that seems to me will last a long time. It's very rigid, it's very rugged, it seems to be well made. Now you can find Raven Concealment Systems on the web at www.ravenconcealmentsystems.com and you can also check out their product offerings. They don't just have the holster obviously, obviously for the Glock 19, but they make holsters for just about every popular handgun out there. Not only do they make holsters for just about every popular handgun, they also have the option of getting a holster that fits your handgun and a flashlight. So be sure to check out those offerings on their website. They might just have a holster that will fit both your pistol and your light. If you have any questions about this holster, feel free to ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. And also check out Raven Concealment Systems website at www.ravenconcealmentsystems.com or the URL below. Thanks again everybody for watching the channel. I appreciate those subscriptions and we'll talk to you guys soon.